fair to say Cheltenham is my favourite. Cheltenham is this a buzz about the place. It used to be that the people who go to science festivals are the sorts of people who go to science festivals. And you sort of, when you, as a scientist, and you talk about some exciting field, you're preaching to the converted. But what's changing and what seems to be happening in places like Cheltenham, you get the real buzz that it really is, you know, Joe Public coming in. You think, oh, there's, you know, there are some big name stars, people maybe I've seen on telly, names I've heard of. And, and it really is a, a great way of infusing people. The most important thing for me is, is about making science accessible. And what looking down there, what's fantastic is the, the amount of kids that I've seen. One of the real kind of gems of, 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 of science is that it has the ability to excite in every single walk of life. And especially if it can sort of excite in the science of everyday life, we all want to know how things work. We all want life's useless bits of information. We all want to be inspired, and science has the ability to do that in the most amazing way. And what I love about Cheltenham Festival is just you have such a fantastic mix of people that you normally merely read their books or whatever and you can suddenly corner them. Maybe you're going to, to go and see Robert Winston doing a lecture but you think, well, we're going to be there anyway so I don't really know very much about this subject but I'll pop along anyway. So go and see Ali, Alice Roberts talking about you know, the, Africa being the cradle of, of human civilization and, and all of, of these kind of ideas. They may well have never thought they were going to watch something like that. I mean, I think it's fantastic. I mean, the best example today is when you just see the queues of people going into the talks. The fact that there is still that interest and there are kids that are really interested. And I saw a girl, she would have been 14, 15 year old girl, talking to the team that are doing the thousand mile an hour car, the Bloodhound supersonic car. And she was asking, she was really interested. She wasn't just going, she was absolutely locked onto it. She's going, does it go faster than if you fall off a cliff? Which is such a good, it's a good question. To which the engineer there said, a bit faster. This is not my first science festival. I always have liked coming down here, both as a consumer, wandering around, uh, going to lectures, uh, as also as a participant. I mean, I don't think it's possible to come here and not find out something interesting or uncover something interesting about the world. Um, whether it's on the cutting edge or whether it's the kind of stuff you should have learned at school but you forgot to, to do. Uh, it's always a very, very enjoyable and stimulating experience. And the other thing about it is, it always has just a sort of very happy, friendly atmosphere. I always find people are very willing to come up and talk and very willing to show things and show off things as well. So you know, it's always a very um, uh, sort of fun and pleasant event. And I just love the Cheltenham Science Festival. It is completely unique, and there is something totally compelling about it. The level of the performance, the interest, the diversity of topics is just fantastic. It's such a great event for us in so many ways, but particularly because it fits in so well with what we're trying to do with Eureka, which gives us a chance to kind of really get behind scientific issues, to uh, really explore them in depth and detail, uh, without either patronising the reader or uh, being excessively worthy. And I think those kind of values are exactly what Cheltenham does so, so well. It's, it's wonderful because it is the biggest science festival in Britain. And I assume it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's the 10th anniversary next year, isn't it? So it's brilliant. I mean, it's, it's incredibly... I actually like the fact that it's um, quite informal. I like the fact that there's this kind of room in the town hall and everyone mixes together. And everyone mixes with, with everybody who's going to the festival. There's not kind of a separation between speakers and the public. But, you know, and, and there is often at big festivals. And, and so this, things like Cheltenham, put inside on TV, building support for science, I see as a political prerequisite for the revolution. <laughs> we're going to lead the revolution and make Britain the best place in the world to do science. And it will start here.